Getting into Metro's crime tracker can be a little intimidating when you see this mass of bubbles. That's an assault near Summerlin, a burglary, and a car theft near the Strip, just to name a few. There's a lot more. Learning this, however, could help protect your home and your neighbors. Did you know you have crime stats right at your fingertips? Stick Police are sounding the alarm through. about their public crime tracker, and for good reason. Most people have no idea it exists. We hit the streets to see if anyone knows that public crime data mapped across the valley We are right here. Tracked in real time. So this is about 10 days. Is available to the public for free here. at their fingertips. This one's aggravated assault with a handgun. The LVMPD open data portal is a useful tool for many to see if there's high crime where they live or where they plan to go. And something Kira Rogers wished she knew about before now. Kind of tell me your initial impression when you see this for the first time. Well, honestly, I feel like it's it helps with today and today's crime, you know. If you want to keep up, you know, know where you will be safe at, where you want to travel, where your kids will be. You can track calls over the last 24 hours, crime trends in general, and much more. Rogers says she'll be checking it out to better monitor her neighborhood. I feel like it's just a good piece of technology for civilians to use. Others didn't know that the system existed and didn't really care. Sitting here looking at this, not going to change what's going to happen in the future. If somebody comes after me, they come after me, whether it's my house or I'm downtown. But tracking trends could help you help police by being more informed about criminal activity in your area, tracking it, and reporting what you see to the police. Even help fight back a little bit. Is this something that you think you'd, you'd do at all? Definitely, I am a fighter. Well, if you're a fighter like Kiara, you can find a link to the open data portal over on our website, KTNV.com, with instructions from police on how to navigate the website. In the studio, I'm Sean Delancey.